We come to kind of towards the end of making our design prototype, and I insist design prototype of our intervention, and it comes to the part of resourcing it, right? Remember I said, it's in my opinion, it's better to do that part at the end, after you've got your, your first iteration of your, your design, yeah? Not your first iteration, but the, the, the final first iteration of your design, okay? When you've gone through all the other steps. The reasons for doing that are multiple, okay? As I said, uh, to be able to, sh when you have your design and it's free from kind of like budgetary stipulations and stuff like that, limitations, um, you're making your, um, your goal is to design your intervention uh, for the maximum impact, right? To resolve as much as possible the problems that you've identified that you want to um, resolve for the people. So it's, it's better uh, with the design mentality to be freed from all this cost budgets. That's not to say that's not going to be important. That will come. But while you're doing the, the intervention design, it's better to, to free it from the budgetary considerations, okay? And also, um, because you will have done your design for impact, not budget, um, and when it, 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 it goes up towards uh, different hierarchical, for hierarchical considerations and they consider each time budgetary impact on a bigger scale, no, the, uh, as all of the different other projects or programs come in as well, no? As it goes up the hierarchical line, obviously, um, different considerations will, will be uh, taken into account, right? Because there's other programs, there's other countries, there's other missions, there's other whatevers, yeah? And it's logical. But your job is to do the, um, the, the best design possible for the contextual realities that you are confronted with and the problems that you are confronted with that you want to solve. After, um, it's hierarchical accountability uh, in terms of what they do with the budget or the ambitions of the of the program, but you will have argued your case well, and from a perspective as well of hierarchical accountability, they too will have to argue their case back, right? So uh, the better you do your job, uh, the more arguments you have to uh, stave off uh, people just taking a, a scissors and cutting without understanding why you have put what you put, right? So, um, and you will know then also uh, when you have your optimal um, design done, when things are cut, you'll know what, what the cause and effect of that, right? And you'll be able to demonstrate, okay, if, if, you, if you cut that, I must also reduce that. Well, what we can't do is have the same ambitions, as I said before, with less resources, right? That's why um, I don't agree with like over resourcing deliberately uh, because they know you, you know that they're going to cut right. That's not that's not good design, right? So when we when it comes to the resourcing, you have to think resourcing, not budgeting. Okay, budgeting will come after. So when you're resourcing your your intervention, we're talking about people and we're talking about assets, right? The thing, the people, and the things you need for optimal impact. Okay to um, resolve all of the things that you've uh, envisaged as problems and to deliver the best impact possible in that contextual reality. Your optimal first design is uh, the intervention design when all things have been considered, all constraints, all eventualities, and then you put your people, okay? So um, people think that the goal is to have as many staff as possible. And that's a, that's a false construct. It's not. It's to have the optimal number of staff possible. Yeah, the best number to run your intervention uh, effectively. I wouldn't even say efficiently, right? But, uh, efficiently, yeah, but efficiently has the implication of cost, right? So having too many people and especially having too many people and too many layers uh, makes the implementation slower, 
Okay, so you want to be thinking, okay, the objective here in humanitarian interventions is to run your implementation um, well, right? You don't want it to take ages for decisions to be made. And, and that happens if you put too many managerial layers into it. So the, the, the closer the, the people in direct uh, delivery of the services or the whatever are to the decision maker, the better. Okay, and the faster that information is going to flow up and down, the better. The more layers you put, uh, it'll slow everything down. Because at each layer, layer there will be a slower, uh, there will be a slowdown, there will be a distortion of information, there will be, you know, and you'll have more to manage. So more is not better. Yeah. Uh, in my personal experience, some of the best interventions that um, I've seen have been run with smaller teams. Okay, and then you're 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 promoting, uh, or you're thinking about skill sets, mindsets, as capacity rather than numeric. Yeah, because two people with the right mindset and the right skill set are better than ten people with neither or with limited uh, abilities, or that are going to be resistant, or that are going to be. Uh, performing badly because they don't have the right motivation or whatever. We can go into that when we talk about uh, people management later on. But you're looking for um, not to put the most people possible, but the, the, the right number of the right people. OK, and that's also that's not always the most. Yeah. So think very carefully about that. It's better to have small, nimble units for quick decision making and also for quick adjustment, who are open to adjustment, right? Uh, and who understand that they're in a humanitarian invention and not running some sort of uh, restaurant, right? That is just uh, every day the same. Um, you want people who are thinking on their feet, who are observing what's happening and are able to come to you with suggestions for improvement. Okay, so think of quality before quantity and watch the amount of layers you put, reduce your layers. And also be careful of how many people you put reporting to the same person, right? It's not good to have a manager with 15 people reporting to them, right? And it's not good either to break that up into three layers. So that's why resourcing is, is complex. And you really need to also make sure that your, your, your quality resources are closest to the people you're trying to help, right? Which sometimes is not what happens, okay? Um, and you have to be creative, of course, yeah? Particularly in the implementation phase, but if you get it half right or three quarters right at the design part, you will be better off, right? So instead of putting a lot of unskilled uh, capacity on the line with the people that you're trying to serve, maybe you need to rethink that, yeah? Um, and maybe it's better to have fewer people, but with better better capacity, better attitude, better motivation, et cetera, that are, 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 are in the face-to-face -face positions with your people, right? Because we're talking about people who have suffered, people who have normally are coming out of a crisis or in a crisis, and, and you want uh, your best people to be there, right? You don't want them sitting in some office behind a computer, right? Which is often what tends to happen. Then when it comes to asset, assets, right? Where we're talking about things like um, cars, or we're talking about like equipment or, or things we need to get the job done, basically, yeah? Um, we need to be thinking uh, not in a vacuum, okay? So if we're talking about stuff or, or support departments like the administration department or the logistics department who are going to be having multiple demands from different um, programs or different managers or different whatever, we need to be able to see that and, and um, understand that when I look at the amount of cars, that they're not all for me, right? Because different uses would be given of cars. They're a common asset. So we need to take a lot of care when there's common assets assigned to multiple uses, right? Because what, how will that work? Uh, how will that affect? What's the demand? Is there an, are there enough? Yeah. And if not, what, what to do? 
Uh, and the same, um, again, with um, resourcing via supply chain, you need to understand the constraints that may be there inherent in how long it takes to make an order, how long it takes for it to get there, etc., etc. And as I said before, uh, your assets uh, and your logistic and administrative capacity need to be both supportive and be able to resolve problems, right? So it's good, uh, I didn't mention it before, when you're resourcing, um, to do it in conjunction with uh, these departments, right? Or these people, right? So you don't just do your resourcing on your own. You need to do it with the people in the logistics, uh, the drivers, the, the, the administration people, the people who know about the staffing situation, other organizations, uh, authorities. Okay, you need to, to be able to um, incorporate uh, their points of view when you're resourcing, okay? And it's not about more, 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 more. It's about the right amount for the desired impact, okay? And manageable manageable, right? Because you don't want to waste either. You don't want to waste human resources and you don't want to raise, uh, waste um, assets because uh, it's not ethical for a start, right? And it's not good practice. So um, that's important to uh, determine and be honest about your uh, resourcing skills, right? If it's not your strong point and you haven't done it before, get help, but be careful that the help you get isn't a scissors help, as I call it, right? That it's able to look at what you want to do and to help you resource it optimally, okay? It's not about cutting, yeah? And it's not about adding either. It's about optimal, optimal resourcing for maximum impact. It's all about the impact, yeah? So then people come with the budget considerations and all of that and budgeting is hard and everything. But first of all, the, you have to do the design and then you have to do the resourcing. Then the budget will come. 